uh, good morning everyone today uh, I'm gonna show you a tactical game played between Albin and Nazdorf okay it was played in the year 1973 in weekend G tournament it's a Sicilian defense okay fine here Albin is white and Nazdorf is black okay here he played e4 and Nazdorf played c5 knight f3 d6 d4 cd4 nd4 knight f6 nc3 a6 so he standard he continued as a regular sicilian with bishop g5 knight bd7 here there are a lo lot of options like e6 or or even some will play bd7 okay for bishop g5 um, he played nbd7 or else no, it will be like a, if he is not played bishop d3 or he played the more like bishop e2 he can play regular nudged off with e5 knight b3 knight to b3 or f3 for f3 line they should be h3 so he play knight b3 okay the game continues like bishop g5 knight bd7 f4 e6 queen f3 bishop e7 now both the players are intent to develop their pieces very fast so here albin long castle nasdaq played qc7 bishop d3 h6 now h6 if you play bishop h4 at one point for example you will have a g5 and fg5 will bring knight to e5 at one point so he played he tried to avoid those he played queen h3 now albert don't need these things like b5 you get b5 or any other things like this. so he wants to develop this bishop so he played knight to c5 with the idea of bishop d7 and even long castle okay here he played rook h1 rook g8 uh, at this moment i think rook g8 um, it's a little interesting now i think here black have so many options like um, one is bishop d7 i think this is okay bishop d7 after bishop d7 e5 d5 e5 and d5 bishop e7 knight e7 this position is hardly you can equalize by playing bishop to c6 at one point and castle or even I occupy knight to d5 this bishop has a good diagonal sorry this bishop has a very good diagonal okay now uh, you can play after maybe after rook h1 you can still play e5 where knight f5 uh, you cannot now play g6 for the spin for the spin but he'll play simply play queen h4 and gf5 after bishop f6 you get the nd5 and white is better okay fine now if bishop f5 instead of g6 bishop f5 e f5 is is okay playable for both but why it's still better in this case why bishop f6 and knight d5 uh, for that if he played and b d7 after this if he played and b d7 and c d7 sorry uh, king b1 maybe after some moves he plays uh, fe5 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 
is still okay for both but I prefer why it is little better okay fine here and asked off play rook g8 an interesting move okay. so I've been here played e5 why because even if you not played e5 uh, if you not played e5 have to remove this bishop to h4 where after g5 um, fg5 hg5 maybe bishop g3 g4 queen h6 rook g6 if queen h8 and rook g8 will be a draw so after queen e3 this position black can hold on by playing bishop to d7 and castle this position is okay for black i guess okay fine now what after e5 so so yeah if you played bishop uh, back to h4 for example um, bishop h4 g5 f g5 h g5 if you played bishop f2 then black can immediately play b5 um, and this position is okay for black why because you can immediately come to bishop d7 or bishop b7 uh, here the sacrifice like bishop b5 won't work because after a b5 and b5 queen c6 is a good move and black will have a good defense chances with the piece up so okay fine after e5 we play d5 f e5 h g5 and e f6 bishop f6 oh uh, okay fine one thing here um instead of bishop f6 i prefer g f6 is little better why because this uh this pin is relatively low now after g f5 although he still can do bishop d7 and long castle okay after bishop f bishop f6 he missed the move knight d5 okay so after knight d5 black played q d8 now black can play queen a5 i guess but this position after nd5 white is definitely better so for example we'll see queen a5 queen a5 bishop h7 um, rook h8 and knight f5 or if queen a2 um, knight f6 and after gf6 knight g7 loses the heavy material king f8 and rook d8 loses and after king g7 rook h8 king h8 and bishop g6 followed by queen h7 and queen g6 is a checkmate so after queen h5 bishop h7 rook h8 knight f5 queen into a2 um, maybe after rook h8 uh, if we played e5 pinning the piece uh, pinning the piece sorry for example after uh, e5 after e5 you can play knight d6 check um, king f8 and knight c8 after g4 queen g4 rook h7 um, rook h7 king b1 rook h4 queen f5 maybe knight e6 knight cb6 attacking the rook and gaining a tempo after knight f6 rook d1 rook d1 and gf6 knight d7 uh, this position why it is clearly better mm, but all these are almost like forced moves uh, okay fine now let's see the move what he played 
Mm. Here he played bishop h7, rook h8, and knight f5. No, after queen a5, instead of queen a5, he played queen d8. Okay, knight d5, q d8. Now bishop h7, rook h8, knight f5, and g4. Here actually in game white played queen g3, uh, but I think queen e3 is very good. Why? Because it's directly attacking c5 and even knight f6 like things will come queen g3 is equally good for example queen e3 bishop g5 uh, knight c7 queen c7 knight g7 check king f8 and queen g5 rook into h7 rook d8 is winning rook d8 rook d8 king g7 and rook e5 attacking this knight and rook is threatening to checkmate okay fine okay queen g3 and king f8 king f8 he played a mistake instead of king f8 he tried bishop d7 which is still losing after knight c7 check king f8 q d6 check bishop e7 knight e7 queen e7 and knight into 8 is losing so after seeing this he played queen f6 simply blundered the game after queen in queen d6 check king e8 uh, knight g7 check he will get soon mated so in this position after knight f6 uh, Najdorf saw all the variations and he resigned this is actually a very good game between Albin and Najdorf Hope you enjoyed the game. See you in the next class. Goodbye.